good morning uh, in this session we are going to learn edu.net framework for console application so let us open sql server SQL Server can be connected in two different ways. One is server authentication and second is Windows authentication. Okay. In Windows authentication, you need not give any username and password to directly connect and run the queries. Okay. Whereas in server authentication, you need to give your login ID and password. Okay. I copy and I'm going to paste it in C sharp program to connect this server to C sharp program through ADU.NET framework. Okay. Okay. Let us connect. <clears throat> let us start a new query. I'm going to use a database called NEC. Okay. NEC is not there. Let us try <coughs> college. Seems it is there. Okay. So let us go to databases. College is there. In college, let us open tables. We have a table called scholar. Okay. Let us check it. So it has three rows and four columns ID name, branch, and college, okay? Now let us open this using ADO.NET framework. Okay? In C-sharp program. For this, you need create a new project. For this, you need console app dotted framework in C sharp. So connect college database is a name of namespace or project created. created. <clears throat> This is created. Now here you need a namespace by name system dot data dot SQL client. Okay. Now here, create a connection string. Short form is CS. It's a raw string, so you should put at the rate in the beginning. First, server. 
if you remember, I, ca I copied something, I'm, I'm pasting it here. Right? Next. Next information is database. Database is college. Next is user ID. Is SEA. Next is password. Which is one, two, three in my case. Okay. If you, if you don't put at the rate, it will consider this slash as escape character. For it to be considered as a regular character, you must put at the rate. Now, have SQL connection object. Class, I'm sorry. Create one connection object. Pass connection string to it. Okay, now create and open this string. Open the connection. Now create SQL command object. Give any name to it. This constructor requires two parameters. One is the query. Okay. And second is the connection object. Okay, now, one more class. SQL data reader. The data reader is PR. Okay. Execute the command by execute reader method. Okay, now this data reader object DR contains all the result set. So why it has some rows that is when read method returns not returns null, get all the data. So what is the data? ID, name, branch, and college. Okay, so first one is ID. You convert this to string because this is in a different format. Okay, what is second one? Name. Okay, name column of the data reader. Right? What is the third one? Third one is branch, fourth one is college. Okay. The last one is sorry. Okay, no problem. In the middle we have branch. Okay, convert this to string as well. Now print the result using console dot write line on the console. Fine. See console dot write line. What is first one? ID. What is second one? 
What is the third one? Branch. The last one is the college. Okay. Now close the data reader. Close the connection. Okay. So you can have one console.read like get character to hold the screen for a while. Right? So entire code is done. And hope that there are no errors. Okay. Let us run it. Right, you can see the result here. ID, name, branch, and college. Is this clear? Is this clear? Suppose you want only, only ID. Okay. Fine. I think it needs some conversions here. Let us do that later. Now, if it is Windows authentication, you need not give user ID and password. You need to give one parameter called integrated security. parameter value is SSPI. Okay. Now this is Windows authentication. Okay. Is this clear? Now what is What is data uh, server authentication? You need to give user ID. You need to give password. Okay. Is this clear? And what about this? This is server authentication. Okay, so you can do either this or Windows authentication. What happened? Password spelling is wrong. Okay, I'm done. 
that's it let us check whether this works or not it works fine so hope you understand it how many objects i used how many classes i used sql connection sql command sql data reader okay and what are the methods execute reader and read methods see how simple it is it requires this name space and this provides go.net classes dot sql server that's it how to understand it let me know if you have any doubts thank you